The common belief that they're pushed in the media and pushed in liberal Christianity is that Muslims and Christians worship the same God and that, oh, the God of Islam is the same as the God of the Bible and, you know, all this stuff. But I'm going to tell you that Islam worships a false God. The God of Islam is not the God of the Bible. And if you look at Islam, just the history of Islam, a lot of what they have in their religion is borrowed from pagan religion, like the crescent moon. Uh, go back in history, the crescent moon has roots in Egyptian paganism and, and pre-Islamic Arabic paganism. And the crescent moon is on all kinds of statues of Arabic pagan gods, Mesopotamian, Mesopotamian gods, I can never say that properly, and all kinds of uh, pagan Egyptian gods. The crescent moon is a pre-Islamic pagan symbol. And not only that, the uh, god Allah. And what about Allah? He's a moon god. Uh, in 1950, in Palestine, there was an idol of this god, god that was ex uh, that was brought up, and uh, it was Allah. It was the it was Allah of the pre-Islamic Arabians, and he had a crescent moon on his chest. And if you know anything about Muhammad, he was a originally an Arabic pagan, and he what he did was he basically borrowed the pagan Arabic religion and just tried to re recreate it and basically add a part to the Bible. And so he all it was is just. Arabic paganism repackaged, and he had the Arabic pagans had gods for each day of the year, and Muhammad he got rid of all the other gods but kept one of the gods for one one of the days of the year, which was Allah, because Muhammad was just simply Islam is just paganism repackaged, and uh, he took Allah, and then basically said that okay we're gonna make this a god of Islam. So he borrowed parts of the Bible, but he mixed in Arabic paganism. That's where you get the, the flying rugs, that's where you get the genies and all this other stuff. Because in, in Islam, they do believe in genies. So they borrowed a lot from Arabic, pre-Islamic Arabic pagan. I mean, what about the Kaaba? You know, it was a pagan Arabic temple. And the Muslims took that and made it the uh, holy site of, of Islam. So Islam is just simply repackaged pagan religion. It's repackaged Egyptian Arabic paganism. Because again, you'll see the crescent moon in a lot of pagan symbols, a lot of pagan gods from Egypt, from, from Mesopotamia, from Mesopotamia, whatever, and from uh, Arabia, from the Arabian Peninsula. You have the crescent moon on these false pagan pagan gods, the moon god, all this other stuff. So Islam is a pagan religion, it is repackaged paganism, just like Roman Catholicism, just like you know Hinduism, all this other stuff, all paganism. So. Uh, Muslims do not worship the same God as Christians. Don't be deceived by this talk of, oh, they have the same God as us. No, they don't. They worship a false God, a pagan moon deity. So Muslims, they need, they need the gospel. That's just what it comes down to. Same thing with Roman Catholics, they need the gospel. And by the way, Islam has roots in Roman Catholicism. If you do the history, uh, Muhammad was, he, he was converted, well, he was inspired to start Islam by a Roman Catholic priest. Uh, the Roman Catholic Church was behind the creation of Islam, which is makes sense because the Roman Catholic Church is also just pagan religion repackaged. So don't wait to see about this talk of, oh, they have the same God as us. No, they don't. They worship a false pagan moon god. So don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.